Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Record Time. This week's episode is brought to you by, close to you, by the duo The Carpenters. The album was released on August 19th, 1970, and has been listed as one of the 500 greatest albums of all time. The album contains the hit singles They Long To Be, Close To You, and We've Only Just Begun. Incidentally, the song We've Only Just Begun started out as a commercial for Crocker Citizens Bank in 1970. Now, talk about a big leap. The duo of brother and sister Richard and Karen Carpenter went on to sell millions of records over their career with Karen's impeccably smooth voice along with Richard's amazing playing style and arranging of their songs. Funny enough, Karen, who is widely known for her voice, was really hesitant about coming, becoming the lead person up front singing. She was also an incredible drummer who played on most of their albums and liked to be in the background hiding behind her drum set. The title, Close to You, reminds me that we are meant to be in relationships. God designed all of us for relationship, and he wants to be close to you. Now, do you believe God is with you? Church people seem to say that all the time, but what does it actually mean? In Jerusalem, which is now the location of the Dome of the Rock, is the place where in the time of Jesus, the Holy of Holies was located. Now, this is the place inside Herod's temple where God was present. So for Jewish believers, this is the place where heaven met earth. This is the place where divine stepped into his creation and where once a year, on the Day of Atonement, God met face to face with man. This is the place where God dwelled. Throughout the Hebrew Bible, God said to his people that he would dwell with them in the Holy of Holies. The Hebrew word we translate as dwell is shokain, which means to inhabit, but also to settle down or permanently reside somewhere. So when John, who is one of the first followers of Jesus, wrote that Jesus made his dwelling among us in John 1.14, the idea that Jesus would permanently be with his followers. This means that we are the place where God dwells. Theologian N.T. Wright puts it in his book, Simply Christian, everyone who follows Jesus is individually and corporately places where heaven and earth meet. Now, did you get that? You are the place where heaven meets earth. This means today, the people who come in contact with you will have a chance to experience God because you are the place where heaven and earth meet. So how will you experience through God through you today? 1 Corinthians 3.16 says, Don't you realize that all of you together are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God lives in you. Come on, let's draw close to him today and worship together. Would be hopeless without your goodness. I would be desperate without your love. Hallelujah. 
be my song and all the glory Thank you.